hey, what's up? Exceptional AD slash DA conversion, but they're very different in their approach. Cut to comparison of audio clips between the Apogee Symphony and Burl. The Apogee Symphony is all about precision. It's clean, transparent, and detailed. If you're working on mixes where every little nuance matters, Symphony is going to give you that crystal clear sound you need. Cut to Burl audio clips. On the other hand, Burl audio leans into analog warmth. The B2 bomber preambles add this rich, harmonic distortion that's perfect for rock, indie, or anything where you want your tracks to have more punch and depth. If you love that vintage sound, Burl's got you covered. Host reappears. So, it really comes down to your preference, clarity versus warmth. If you're producing orchestral or classical music, Apogee's precision might be your best bet. But if you're mixing rock or jazz and love analog character, Burl is a strong contender. Cut to shots of the Apogee, Symphony's sleek, modern interface, and the Burl Audio's rugged, tactile design. Next up, let's talk design and usability. Apogee's interface is sleek, modern, and user-friendly. It integrates seamlessly into your digital workspace with touchscreen control and software that's easy to navigate. Cut to Burl Audio's mothership with its knobs and rugged build. Burl, on the other hand, is all about that hands-on experience. It's built like a tank, and that tactile control over gain and signal routing feels, well, cool. It's the kind of gear you can feel proud to touch. But it does take a bit more of a learning curve, especially for beginners. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more audio gear reviews. Apogee is great for those who want a quick and simple setup. Burl, however, shines for those who enjoy the analog workflow and need something that makes a statement in both sound and design. In terms of features, the Apogee Symphony offers robust connectivity options with up to 32 inputs and output views.